My name is Troy, but lately, I've been hearing, Tracy, a lot more often. It's my stepmom, Martha, who insists on calling me that. Ever since she decided I should be the flower girl for her friend's wedding, my life has taken an unexpected turn. Now, I stand here in a beautiful white dress, feeling the weight of this transformation. The wedding preparations are in full swing, and the house is bustling with activity. As I glance around, I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror, my reflection is unrecognizable. The dress is exquisite, with delicate lace details and a flared skirt that sways with every movement. My hair, styled in soft curls, frames my face, making me look even more feminine. Martha stands beside me, a vision in her own wedding gown. She smiles approvingly, her eyes twinkling with satisfaction. He'll need more than just a leash, she says, her voice filled with a mix of amusement and authority. All Mademoiselle Flower Boys are baby reigned, no matter their age. I can't help but blush at her words. The pink harness she insists I wear is both humiliating and oddly comforting. But I'm not a baby. This is so embarrassing, I mutter, hoping she might reconsider. Her smile doesn't waver. Nonsense, Tracy, you look absolutely adorable. Just remember to hold your head high and walk gracefully. You're doing wonderfully. Another woman in a stunning dress joins us, her gaze shifting between Martha and me. He really does look the part. She comments, adjusting a stray curl on my head. With a bit more practice, no one will ever know. The truth is, despite my initial resistance, I'm starting to accept this new role. I look at myself and can't deny that I do look good as a girl. There's a strange sense of pride in knowing that I can pull off this disguise so convincingly. Yet, beneath the surface, there's a lingering fear. What if someone sees through it? What if they realize that Tracy is really Troy? Martha seems to sense my unease. She places a reassuring hand on my shoulder. You'll be fine, Tracy. Just remember what we've practiced. Walk with confidence, speak softly, and always smile. You've come so far already. I nod, taking a deep breath. With Martha's guidance, I've learned to behave, act, and dress like a girl. Each day brings new lessons. How to apply makeup, how to style my hair, how to move with the grace expected of a flower girl. It's a lot to take in, but Martha's encouragement keeps me going. As the wedding day approaches, I find myself growing more comfortable in this role. The dress, the makeup, the way people admire my appearance, it all feels oddly empowering. I may have started this journey reluctantly, but now, standing here in this beautiful dress, I realize that I can do this. I can be Tracy, the perfect flower girl. With Martha's support, I know I can face whatever comes my way. The fear of being discovered is still there, but it's overshadowed by the excitement of embracing this new identity. As I take my place among the wedding party, I hold my head high, ready to step into the role I've been given. Tracy is here to stay, at least for now. The wedding day arrived and went off without a hitch. I walked down the aisle, scattered flower petals with grace, and received countless compliments on how lovely I looked. No one suspected that the elegant flower girl was really Troy. As the weeks went by, Martha continued to encourage my transformation. What started as preparation for the wedding soon became a new way of life. My wardrobe filled with dresses, skirts, and blouses. Makeup tutorials became a daily routine, and Martha taught me everything from how to paint my nails to choosing the right accessories. One day, as I was trying on a new dress, Martha came into my room with a smile. You know, Tracy, you've come a long way. You're truly becoming a beautiful young lady, she said, adjusting the bow in my hair. Thanks, Martha, I replied, feeling a mixture of pride and apprehension. But what happens now? Do I just stay like this forever? She laughed softly. That's up to you, Tracy. You've proven that you can embrace this role beautifully. If you want to continue living as Tracy, I'll support you every step of the way. But if you ever want to go back to being Troy, that's okay too. I thought about it long and hard. The more time I spent as Tracy, the more comfortable I felt in my new identity. I loved the way people treated me, the attention to detail in my appearance, and the confidence I was building. One evening, while we were out shopping, Martha introduced me to a few of her friends. This is Tracy, she said proudly. She's my lovely stepdaughter. They greeted me warmly, complimenting my outfit and asking about my interests. For the first time, I felt a sense of belonging. 
I wasn't just pretending to be someone else, I was becoming someone new. School was another challenge. Returning as Tracy meant facing my classmates and teachers, but Martha assured me that everything would be okay. She arranged for me to transfer to a different school where no one knew Troy. The transition was surprisingly smooth. I made new friends who accepted me as Tracy without question. We bonded over shared interests in fashion, music, and social events. Martha continued to guide me, teaching me how to handle any situation that came my way. She enrolled me in dance classes to improve my poise and ballet to enhance my grace. I learned how to carry myself with confidence, how to speak softly yet assertively, and how to navigate the complexities of teenage social life as a girl. One afternoon, while practicing ballet, I looked in the mirror and realized just how far I had come. The boy named Troy felt like a distant memory. Tracy was who I was now, and I was happy. My transformation wasn't just about changing my appearance, it was about finding my true self. As the months turned into years, I continued to flourish as Tracy. I attended proms, joined the school's fashion club, and even started modeling for local boutiques. Every step of the way, Martha was there, cheering me on and helping me grow. I realized that becoming Tracy wasn't just a phase, it was my journey to self-discovery. With Martha's unwavering support, I embraced my femininity and found the strength to be true to myself. Tracy wasn't just a disguise, she was the person I was always meant to be. Looking back, I'm grateful for every moment that led me here. The wedding, the transformation, and the challenges all shaped me into the confident, feminine young woman I am today. And as I continue my life as Tracy, I know that I'm not just living a role, I'm living my truth.